Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It is Thursday morning, it is hell day, and I am tired, but the kind of tired where like your eyes, your eyes feel like they've already seen enough for the day, and so they're just, they just wanna shut and like recoup and maybe join you again later. Yeah, alas, we're about to start therapy in about a half hour. I have loads to do before then and loads to do after then because again, it's hell day. So we've got three therapies scheduled today. Um, there's a few things that I absolutely must get done today besides that. For example, uh, the shelves got built last night, which you would have seen all of that in episode 173. I think, which I'll post up here in case you haven't checked it out yet. Um, watch this one first and then go back and see that. But shelves got built yesterday, both of them, and I already basically filled one, but there's still way more books, probably more books than I have shelf space for, which we were toying with the idea of getting a third shelf, but now by the end of the day, we'll know if we actually need one. And also we got a Christmas tree yesterday. I've always had a real tree growing up and so I've always wanted, like I always got real trees um, when we lived on our own and my parents always got real trees while we were there, except last year they got a fake one and I was actually like deeply upset by this, <laughs> but um, it's just, especially this year that we've just moved, um, moving is expensive, there was a lot of things we had to do to the house to get it ready. Uh, we also spent like $700 this month on new tires for the car and brakes and the whole thing. So um, I could not justify buying a real tree and then all of our ornaments were damaged in that fire in the storage facility. This sounds like so dramatic, but it's life. This is, <laughs> this is what actually happened. Um, so we would have had to start from scratch with like a tree stand and ornaments and the whole thing. And so I had already kind of just relegated myself to the fact that, okay, we're not having a tree this year, which sucks because it's our first year here. Um, and I would have loved to have decorated and I would have loved to have made it special for my son, but it's silly to spend that much money right now. And then my mom came through yesterday and she sent me a link to Walmart uh, where they were, uh, they had clearance, six and a half foot tall trees, which is kind of small, but six and a half foot tall trees, fake of course, but it already comes with lights and some decoration. I haven't opened it yet, but it was $29 for the whole thing. It's like, that can't be right. That has to be a mistake. That has to be that they're out of stock. And when I try to get it, it's not gonna like work. And actually I'd ordered the green tree cause they had white trees, which I think are awful. I'm sorry. I know everybody has their, their preference and maybe you love white trees. I've always thought they were super tacky. I just personally don't like them. Um, but they had white ones and they had green ones and then some had white lights and some had colorful lights. So I had wanted the green one with the colorful lights and that's the one I ordered. But then when my mom went to pick it up for me, it turns out that they didn't have that one, but they did have the green one with the white lights. So that's what I got. Um, which is fine. Not ideal, but fine. So yeah, so today I'm gonna build a tree. <laughs> and what else, what else, what else? There was something else that I know that I needed to get done today. And I can't think of it right now. But um, regardless, if you might hear my alarm in the background, I gotta get dressed, I gotta get going because therapy's gonna start like any minute and my son and I are both still in our pajamas. So I will try my best to remember what I was gonna say to you guys and I will try to pop back in later and I guess update you all. Happy Thursday. So my son is playing TV in the background, so sorry for the background noise, but here are the shelves. And it took such a long time to find ones that would fit just like this because they're completely flush with the counter here. They're like the perfect length, right? And obviously it's two of them in order to make that up, but it's just, it looks like it was made for this space. They're so perfect. 
And as you can see, I've already started putting books in here. So I've got cookbooks at the top and then down there I have more of my like just books like novels but also my sign language books and some homeschooling books just like miscellaneous right that might change because I still have all of those <laughs> that have to somehow fit in here I'm gonna try my best anyways if it comes to having to get a third shelf then I guess that's what's gonna happen but I'd rather avoid that um, I also would obviously rather avoid having to throw out books, so we'll see. But um, yeah, so far, and then as you can see, my son's already kind of taken over that space, but not for long. So that's one of the things that I want to make sure to do today is to try to empty as much of those into here as I can and then kind of reassess and see what our next step is. But what I'm thinking is that we could even put a shelf here in this space. Um, so it's kind of like a continuation of this, just whoop. But the problem is, is that this is a very distinct color of gray or shade of gray. And it's real wood, it's untreated wood. So it makes sense that if I wanted to match at all, I would just get a shelf from this same brand. But they don't make tall shelves. So... Now, <laughs> I need to find another shelf, assuming we're getting another shelf, but I think it's a safe assumption to make. Another shelf that fits here and obviously has the, the correct dimensions, but also one that ideally, my son already came and just moved that now, um, that is a similar enough color, shade, material, etc., that it looks right as a continuation of all this. So um, now I really have my work cut out for me. If I thought it was hard finding these, it's gonna be much harder to find a third to kind of create a set with, but let's see. Maybe it won't come to that. I'm sure it's gonna to come to that. <laughs> Friday morning my dudes um, I have a couple little things that I want to get done today uh, we only have the one therapy scheduled as usual but I'm actually about to start a meeting in like six minutes so I just wanted to pop in real quick and say hello first um, I want to do my planner video today and I think that that might become the norm I've always recorded my planner videos over the weekend and edited them over the weekend but I feel like getting them done on Friday, especially now that we've only got the one therapy scheduled every Friday. Um, it just makes more sense. It's a better use of my time. And that way I also don't feel that rush, rush, rush throughout the weekend to make sure it's done by Monday because it'll be all done today. I want to record a recipe that I'm not gonna release until January, but actually when you think about it, January is just around the corner, right? And also it occurred to me this morning Something that I'm very excited about and I, it's kind of like been at the not quite front of my brain and I guess it just finally made it there today because I've known about this for a bit. But today, well I guess yesterday technically, um, was our last speech session and our last behavior session through the end of the year because speech is closed until January 3rd and it so happens that our behavior therapist is taking next week off and we're taking the following week off. So um, so we're not gonna see her until next year either. So we have that one therapy today as usual, but then next week is a four day week because Christmas Eve is on Friday. And it's gonna be a super light week schedule wise because we've only got two therapies that we're going to be, you know, we have OT and PT and that's it. And then after that, winter break, right? Our version of winter break. So that's pretty great. I'm very excited about that. Um, between that and finally getting a Christmas tree, it's starting to somewhat feel different around here. Um, not quite special, definitely not like Christmas, not like a holiday. Um, but I think that that's partly, mostly, uh, due to COVID because 
my whole life, Christmas has meant a lot of gatherings, a lot of people, a lot of excitement, a lot of buzz. And it's been literally years since we've been able to experience that. And I know that this year is probably not going to be much different. But um, also the weather. Like, it's literally 80 degrees out right now. And I've checked the forecast throughout the next week, and it's going to basically be the same. So it's not the first time we've had a very warm Christmas. But the fact that there's not been any chill in the air at all thus far in the year is, um, it's whack. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's whack. I just looked out my son's window and Big Mama Iguana is just perched up on the highest branch of the tallest tree right there. And so I'm going to turn you guys around right now and see if you guys can see through this window. Do you see her all the way up there? Probably just barely. I, I only saw her because she's orange. And so she kind of stands out a little bit against the tree there. But um, yeah, that's that's crazy. That's so cool that this is just right outside our window now. It feels like we live at a zoo. And I'm fully okay with that, except when people be knocking my plants over, which actually hasn't happened again, which is good. I was really worried since I transplanted all the Aero Garden stuff out there, especially since it's all food, it's various peppers and the dill shrub. Um, I thought for certain that loads more animals were gonna start coming through and eating my stuff. And so far, I mean, granted, it's only been a couple days, but so far it's all good. So um, yeah, there's the tangent that I'm constantly going on. So now I'm gonna let you guys go because my meeting is gonna start like any minute now. And I will try to pop back in again today at some point, even if it's just to show you a little montage of what I've been up to throughout the day. Happy Friday. Look, 17 is a really big one. I'm excited to see what's in here. Can we open 17? Look how big this is. I think this is the biggest one in the whole box. Whoa, look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks like ours, huh? Do you like it so much? It's awesome. Wow, this is super cool. I don't know why they wouldn't just save that like for the last day. I feel like you can't possibly go up from here. <laughs> hey there, pals. Happy Saturday morning. Um, we've had a very nice, easy, slow entry into our day. And I was just looking over my list of things to do for the weekend, not just for the day, but for the weekend. And it's pretty lax, like more lax than it's been legit in months. Um, and I don't know, I mean, it's a combination of things really. First off, I did do my planner video yesterday and I did the editing and everything, like it's ready to go. It's already scheduled to go up on Monday morning. So I don't have any recording at all to do this weekend. Um, having our Fridays be so chill on our schedule is really helping me out because especially when it comes to things like recipes, I don't need to like lock myself away to record a recipe. So I don't need to wait for my husband to get home to take care of the kiddo while I'm recording. I could just set up the camera in the kitchen and cook as I normally do just with a camera over my shoulder. And so that's one less thing I have to do this weekend, right? So that's super convenient. And also we're pretty much done unpacking. There's one big bin that's left, but it's all like pantry foods and our pantry is up to here. So all we can do is just like keep the bin open and try to reach for those things before we reach for things out of the actual pantry. And then once the space opens in the pantry, grab something out of the bin and put it in there. Um, so that's gonna be slow going, but pretty much otherwise the house is set up. And so, I don't know, I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm just able to just enjoy my day, really, for the first time, and I literally don't remember how long. So I'm very happy about that. I almost don't know what to do with myself because just chilling out, relaxing is not something I'm used to doing, but I'm hoping to get around to doing some of that. And, um, I wanna get into the garden today and maybe prune some plants, maybe do some repotting for some of my succulents. Um, I don't know, just, you know, little things here and there. So I will try my best to bring you all along. And yeah, yay for an actual like relaxing day for the first time probably in 2021.
Happy Saturday! We didn't record our advent calendar this morning, but my son has not let go of this thing all day. It is so cool. He's also chewing on the fidget spinner from the other day, the little octopus fidget spinner, but this is so awesome. And he seems to really, really like it. Hey friends, happy Sunday. It has been a day. <laughs> It's barely afternoon and it's just one of those days where like everybody woke up on the wrong side of the bed and it feels like everything that could possibly go wrong has gone wrong from burnt breakfast to my son finding literally the one toy. I had one gift for him this year that I was like, oh, if nothing else, he's going to be really excited to open this and get it on Christmas. And somebody somebody left the closet open where I had the gifts hidden and my son found that one gift. So the good news is he did in fact really, really like it, but uh, now he doesn't have anything that's guaranteed to elicit a reaction on actual Christmas day. So pretty bummed about that. Uh, now the latest one is we're gonna go over to my parents' house to watch the football game. And I confirmed with my dad, a few days ago that the game starts at four. So we've planned our day based on that, right? Like I was just knitting, trying to finish my nephew's blanket, which I just finished his blanket. All that's left to do is cut like the extra yarny bits off both blankets and they're done done. But I was doing that, my husband's cleaning and my mom just calls and lets me know, where are you guys? Or not lets me know, but she asks basically, are you on the way? I'm like, no, we're not on the way. It's, it's 1.10. Oh, the game started at one. Oh, okay, <laughs> so now we've just kind of stopped everything and we're about to get dressed and head over there. So yeah, it's just, it's just been a day. Nothing terrible has happened, but it's all just like a bunch of tiny little things that have kind of like stacked up on each other. And so I've got a headache, I'm ready to go back to bed and it's like 1.20. So that's what's going on right now. I'm gonna very quickly get myself out of my PJs, get my son out of his PJs. And I guess we're going on an adventure. Hopefully the day turns around for us. There's still plenty of day left, still plenty of opportunity for the energy to shift. Happy Sunday. Here's hoping anyway. <laughs> All right, pals, it's Sunday night, so I'm gonna sign off. Um, I completely forgot to record at my parents' house, like completely, but the Finns won, yay. It was a really good game because it was against the Jets. I used to be a Jets fan. I'm not saying that I'm not anymore, and I'm not saying that I'm a Dolphins fan. I'm just neutral on the situation, but it's just a matter of fact that when they square off, it's going to be an interesting game, and it very much was. But the Finns ended up winning, and we, made sort of loose plans to host my parents here for next week's game. But then I realized afterwards that the Dolphins are actually not playing on Sunday. They're doing Monday Night Football uh, next week. And it's like a late game. Like they don't start playing until 8.15. So I don't know about that, but hopefully we can have them over anyways. I mean, it's Christmas weekend, so it's like we're not gonna see them, but I'm kind of liking making this kind of like a tradition, you know, um, like a standing sort of appointment to see my parents and eat and like do something fun together, etc. So we'll see what we end up doing. But um, what else, what else? Uh, I put some more decorations on the tree. I got some ornaments that came in today and my husband printed me a weeping angel for the top of the tree, which I am equal parts loving and like absolutely creeped out by. If you know, you know. And I'm really loving how the tree turned out. I'm loving how everything is like falling into place 
I have so many things that I still need to wrap. My mom just came by actually with a wrapping paper for me. I don't have tape. <laughs> Forgot that you need that because I don't wrap. My husband was gonna wrap for me. Um, but yeah, so hopefully in the next few days all of that gets handled because we are officially less than a week away from Christmas. I can't, I legit can't believe that that's a fact, but it is. So I would love to know what you guys are planning for the rest of the week. I'm looking forward to a super chill therapy schedule. It's just a four day week and then vacation for the next like, what is it, nine days maybe, right? 10 days, 10 days off. I actually just counted on my fingers to make sure. 10 days off. Um, so yeah, that's super, super great. Very happy about that. I will likely spend this week doing some heavy duty recording so that I can try to take the week off off, but we all know how that typically works out, so we'll see. But yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys are up to because I was about to just roll right on into another tangent and nobody needs that. And as always, I wanna thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you were entertained by it. And if that's the case, I hope that you will please give it a big thumbs up before you go. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week, even during the holidays, and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.